Hi, this is Greg Hildebrandt, and you're listening to the Marvel Card Collectors Podcast. Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Taylor, and you're listening to the Marvel Card Collectors Podcast, your weekly digest of hobby goodness. Donnie, have you ever heard the expression that you wait ages for a bus and then three come along at once? Maybe. Yeah, yes, well, I think this year has been nothing but release after release from Upper Deck. That's true. And while we shouldn't ever look a gift, ho- gift horse in the mouth, the elephant in the room was always, when's the next Marvel Masterpieces set coming out? Please, oh, please, for the love of God, please tell us. Such was the thirst. <laughs> but rejoice, friends, as a few weeks back, <laughs> as people will hear this, the artist was announced, as were the first images. So today, and maybe a day or several later than most, what are you going to do? Uh, my good friend Donny Courtrider and I are going to walk through the cell sheet and the paintings that have been released so far. So first off, Donny, welcome back. How the devil are you? I am well. Thanks for having me back on. It's no. uh, it's been been a couple months, I think. Always a pleasure. You were on with Tom Fleming. With Tom Fleming, Tom and Fleming. that was back in that episode came out in March, I think. March, yeah. So it's, it's been. It doesn't feel like that long, oh, but it doesn't. yeah, it doesn't. Time flies. Time flies. Um, I, I didn't tell you I was going to mention this, so uh, but I, I'm pretty sure it's public knowledge. You've had quite a big announcement since. Um, the last time we spoke, haven't we? Yes, I have. Yes, what, we are. What, we are expecting our first child in October, so we're both <laughs> very excited for that. It'll be a little boy. I was so excited for you! Congratulations! Thank you! Congratulations! Thank I mean, you! I mean, I'm sure it was but a moment's work for for you, but uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> such is the way of things. Um, but um, but yeah, <laughs> wow. Okay. I went there already, and this is this is we're only like two minutes. Oh in. boy, yeah, it's going to be a long one. Strap <laughs> in. Um, so um, that's that's really cool. I'm so excited for you. You've got so this is your last summer of. Well, I guess it's kind of nesting and all that kind of cool stuff, isn't it? We we right, which is why I'm in the chair in the living room and not in my office because my office is becoming a nursery and the dining room will be my new office, but it has stuff in it, so. Wow, that's actually okay. that's one one for later today and every weekend, yeah, you know, through through July. But we're we're working through it. And, yeah, uh, good. It's gonna be gonna be really really good. Exciting changes, necessarily so as well. So mm-hmm. cool. All right. Well, um, you've um, you've been busy. Um, I've been seeing all the stuff that you're up to, kind of from from a side, and I say that because I don't. I, I I know you told me, but I'm terrible. My mum always said that I'm, I have got a head like a sieve, goes in one ear and out the other. Because <laughs> um, sometimes I'm just useless at retaining information, or if I don't get it, it kind of my brain stops trying and it just jettisons the the, the small piece that it had. Um, so you've been doing a few weekend things and shizzle. So what what is it you've been? doing um with artists and just talk about that for a minute because it kind of leans into what we're going to talk about today sure so in in addition to to writing about art um i work with uh, a bunch of magic the gathering artists um in selling their originals and their artist proof cards um handling commissions and things like that uh events have come back now which is good um so i've been to most recently philadelphia and minneapolis um with one of the artists i work with and she and i set up uh, to handle the the convention booth and it's i mean it's these are large events ten thousand mm-hmm. people um you know signatures prints play mats all sorts of merchandise and things like that um so i've been been working a little bit with that and then i'm headed to barcelona later on this month which is very exciting <laughs> you're heading this way yeah, i'm kind headed of. i'm headed your way i'm being europe for the first yeah. time in 15 years wow so that'd, that'd be good with an artist i work with from the netherlands so wow that's recent exciting. development yep that's exciting wowzers 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 yeah um well i guess it's good that you're getting them in now um rather than rather than yep. later you know? yep so um, that'll be good lots of good stuff coming so um uh, you mentioned your articles of course um mm-hmm. so for those who don't remember because the when you you were on oh, uh, two years ago easily now it's maybe episode, a bit episode 81 you remember this? It's because it's Mysterio's card number. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Okay, all right. 
All right, I knew that was a method. Um, so when you were on before, you um, people would have heard. Go and check out episode eighty-one, folks. Um, that you write for hipsters of the coast. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, now, who, remind me who are hipsters of the coast again? They are. It's a it's a Magic the Gathering for the most part. They do a little bit of other stuff. Website, um, primarily a news outlet. Mm -hmm. um, but we've got writers writing about just about everything, different magic formats and, uh, you know, nerd culture and, and gaming life and, and things of, yeah. of that nature. So I get to do uh, mostly magic there, but then a little bit of a Marvel column, um, too. It's once a month now. It was for a while. It was every two weeks. But uh, as things quieted down, releases fell off. It just made sense mm -hmm. to go to once a month. So yeah. uh, right now I'm writing about Unbound. Uh, mm. doing like a, a wrap up. I used to do that quarterly, but then they were too long and every two weeks was too short. So the monthly cadence seems to work good. Um, and then I mix in some stuff. I'm, you know, still talking about masterpieces 2020. Mm. Um, I should do a, like a little art recap of Fleer Ultra because that was an original art set. Uh, right. It's on the never ending list to, to get written, but we'll, yeah. we'll get there. Um, now that it's out on EPAC, I think yeah. I'll shoot for that next. So cool well listen the flight to barcelona will give you a few writing hours i'm sure so i, I hopefully i'm sleeping on the flight to barcelona because it's overnight so oh, it's overnight it's, yeah it's, of it's overnight yeah. here so mm. if i don't go to sleep i'm going to be in big trouble when yeah. i when i wake up but yes yeah yeah all right well good luck with that i'm i usually try to and very on very few occasions have i actually managed to sleep yeah. on the flight for me which is back from america um yeah just uh, regardless of how much alcohol i drink um <laughs> I, I did once uh with the former future mrs taylor i did come back from america once on a united flight and it was only about a quarter full okay um and so they clearly had a full complement of food and drink so they kept like offering us like little mini bottles of prosecco or champagne you know they kept okay. so and then I yeah and then and then of course we'd had a few so we were ballsy enough to tell them which at the time wasn't true but we were ballsy <laughs> enough to tell them that we just got engaged on that trip ah. and so all of a sudden the frequency of delivery improved so by the time we were flying over island you know in the last hour of the flight coming to sure. UK, absolutely wankered <laughs> like, like properly <laughs> <laughs> properly so it's like we're, we're, we're there at Heathrow in the morning at like 8 a.m you know, like blinking in the sunlight right right you get a cab back and um <laughs> we were like you know what there's no point in going to bed now even though we're really tired because sure. we're absolutely blotted let's just go, let's go out so we went out and just <laughs> carried on made a day of it there you um go. so there we go um anyway um um so i wanted to say on those articles the masterpieces theater ones especially um I, I, I've said this to you on message, but I just want to say thank you for the very kind words on your latest column yeah, uh, of course. about that black cat sketch and just generally about, oh, you showed some good stuff on that column. Oh, um, yeah. So for those who haven't seen Donnie's columns, I'll put a link on the show notes for on the Facebook page for the audio version and on the YouTube kind of um, comment -y text cool. bit whatever Perfect. that's called so people can go and check them out um um so the reason i kind of wanted to kind of give that little background for those who might not have the will to or have heard that a, a previous episode or might just consume this by youtube you're kind of quite tight in the magic the gathering world you know you, you're, you're yeah tight. within you know, within you know, that the the yeah. art community especially people that mm. that aren't artists but but work with artists and, and do that there's not very many of us right. um and there's almost nobody that writes about it anymore there's been ebbs and flows and things like that oh, but it, it gets it gets challenging the 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 deeper you go the harder it is to keep up with with things like that so it's um yeah there's only a, only a handful of folks writing about the art from a you know uh, a critical perspective i guess so to yeah. speak that doesn't yeah. mean being critical of it but just you know that sort of sort of writing yeah yeah no i get what you're saying um so you already knew of dan dos santos i did yep didn't yep. you he uh he's done a fair few um magic cards i think maybe almost two dozen ish oh, over, okay. over time um the most recent of them um, from just a couple of years ago, came out in a special set, and that was like the the first time he'd pop back in, and then he disappeared again, and nobody knew why. But 
now we do. <laughs> now we do. Um, and um, I mean, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm hoping we'll get the opportunity to ask ask this of Dan him, himself in due course. But I imagine that much like Masterpieces 2020, having a, an artist from the Magic, who's more well known for Magic the Gathering, I guess, would probably bring a whole fresh blood into Marvel cards. Maybe, yeah. I, th- Maybe. I think we could we could see it happen again. Um, it's, I mean, the world's a little differently than it, than it was in 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So there was a lot of people that just, you know, caught onto that upswing. I think, um, but there mm-hmm. will definitely be people that that follow him. Dave was a was a m- much more regular uh, artist for Magic. Um, yeah. Dan did a lot of stuff back in like um, I want to say like twenty two thousand nine, ten, eleven. Oh, okay. And then, and then came back in 2020 with two, car- two, th- three cards, three cards ish, yeah. right in that that range, night 2019, 2020, okay. um, and then disappeared again. So, but the ones that he did, like one of his magic cards, one of my favorite illustrations in the entire game. Um, really? So it's yeah, and it was it was a it was a big deal back then. Um, but yeah, there's like there's a I guess there's a disconnect between some of his older work and then some of his newer stuff that looks much like what he did on masterpieces, his older magic cards, you would not recognize from like the cell sheet. Interesting. Oh, well, okay, cool. I'll tell you what is interesting. I noticed that, um, you know, this, cause I think, um, one of the pieces arrived with you, but Greg Hildebrandt has been doing this daily mm-hmm. kind of sale throughout the year. I think they've called it 365 days of gratitude or something yep. like that. Yep. Um, and I didn't realize that, that Greg, had or maybe even greg and tim had done magic art greg art. greg and tim did a lot of magic art together uh, really and, and greg has even recently continued to do some pieces just by himself yeah oh I wow mean, like a lot like three digits worth of cards probably yeah 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 i can let me look real quick i was gonna say i'll i'll, I'll pull some of them up actually because one of the one of the great things about it let me just view this yeah. in a browser window and then uh, i will share the screen all right uh looks like with just Hildebrandt not breaking them out, uh hundred and sixty nine give or take. So Oh my goodness. That's, yeah, that's, that's a prolific. that's a fair that's a fair few. Yeah. Um, but even Greg has recently, even in the last year, has had two or three cards come out. Um, yeah. just by himself, special promotional stuff. I just thought I'd have a look. So this is this is what you get from Greg's site, you know, the Spiderweb Art Gallery. Mm-hmm. You can get in these daily emails and each day throughout the year they're basically selling to collectors all of the sketches preliminaries roughs um even even some more finished pieces like the black cat that i purchased um mm-hmm. and yeah they're, they're, each day they put it out so 365 days of gratitude is how they refer to it so um and this is i think the second or third one there where you've seen you know preliminary sketches yep yep come out um uh, you'll be probably familiar with the original of this i just i just think it's it's, it's wonderful that this crossover was always there but i never realized it yeah, it's uh, there's there's a lot of if you start to look really really deep, even in like um, the Fleer Ultra Avengers set, there are four or five artists that did original art for that set that are magic artists. Oh really? But, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've never seen the finished ones of these, so um, I've no idea what I'm kind of weirdly. If I know the original, I kind of know what I'm working back from sure, in my mind. Sure. <laughs> so, um. Some of them these, are gnarly looking images. What's that? These are a lot of like that. That card came out in two thousand five. I was in high school. Two thousand five, right. I think. So yeah, I, oh, I wow. recognize some of these. Okay. Just, that, these would I mean, be super, super, super early in in his process. It's just candles. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's, a, it's a beast made of candles. Have you ever seen the film um, uh, Japanese uh, anime one, um, Totoro? I'm familiar with Totoro. Yeah, not super familiar, but yes. Um, I I watched it. My daughter um, watched it at school, and then she came home raving about it. And then my wife watched it with her, and I watched it with her. And there's something in the, there's something in that called the Cat Bus. Yeah. Are you familiar with the Cat yeah, Bus? Uh, vaguely, yes. It's freaking me out. I mean, I know it's a, <laughs> I know it's a, I know it's a kind of on the kids level that film, and she loves it. But it's like. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, go and check out the Cat Bus. Just Google <laughs> Cat Bus. Um, but yeah, and you know he does these more finished pieces here, like the mm-hmm. um, which I don't know if he does specially for the sale. I'm, I'm not sure. 
what what the process is with that. Um, and you know, there's some prelim Spider Man stuff there that's still available. Some aliens playing musical instruments. Um, yeah, it's it's really good. Anyway, but enough about the Hildebrands. Shall we talk about Masterpieces 2023? Let yes. me get the sell sheet up. Let's go through Let's the sell sheet. And it. what I've done, so what I've what I've, what I've, what we're going to do, we're going to go through the sell sheet. Now, I I'm going to preface this by saying I've I've deliberately, well, no, partly out of necessity, I've been crazy busy with work and all other stuff going on. So I haven't really had time to to look at any of this stuff or give it the attention that I want it to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I've waited until now to look through the sell sheet properly and actually read it and to actually look at the artwork, although I've, I've obviously scrolled past it, but I've not stopped and taken it in and looked at it. So, And I wanted to hold that because I wanted my reaction now to be sure. as fresh as possible, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so forgive me um, if this is stuff that it might be obvious, or you might have heard uh, being talked about before. I don't care. Um, <laughs> so let me. <laughs> You've probably been pouring all over it, haven't you? I have. Yes, you it's have, like yeah, I yeah. can't help it. Yeah, no, it's fair. It's fair enough, right? Well, it's most my screen. There we go. Right, let's share this. Right, we're going in. Um, Perfect. So, Marvel Masterpieces presents Dan Dos Santos. Um. Now, I a lot of people have I, I know I know that there's been a lot of commentary over the kind of the, the look of his art and how 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 it looks almost digital. Um but it's oil paint, isn't it? It's all oils. Every mm. single one of them. That's uh that's that's a requirement for masterpieces. It has yeah. to be painted traditionally, so it's yeah. it's not digital. Yeah. It's just yeah. incredibly smooth. Yeah, I mean it's it's ah oh, listen, I mean it's smoother than an otter's pocket. Look at it, um, but that that storm is is just gorgeous. Um, I love the kind of almost luminescence of it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and the eyes as well. It's just that light in the eyes that just kind of caps it for me. Um, but it's cool, and look at him there with his paintings in the background. Yep, check that out. Check yep. that out. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's have a look. So. Um, Oh, it's not smooth scrolling. It's just going a page at the time. So we have got the usual shizzle that you would get in a Masterpieces set. The 90-card base set with the serial number tiers. Gold ink foil Passimo. So that's the gold signature series. Yep. Uh, the numbered color foil parallels. So I imagine that will be the purple. Yep. And the Luke orange. purple. Jubilee yep. and orange. Yep. Um and then the artist autograph parallel. So that's the silver spectrum autographs they've been known as. And it looks like there's a green that they've added, and I'm guessing the Modoc is red, so the the one of ones, but maybe it looks like another new parallel, I think. Let's have a butch as well. I'm trying to zoom in, but but this newfangled Adobe that I've got on my computer won't let me do so. Um there we go. Oh my goodness me. Right. Let's let's move around it's done it's doing something a bit weird i'm not going to lie to you donnie i've no <laughs> idea what it's doing right now um there we go right i've zoomed right in here so let's have a butchers at some of these pieces um people always get confused when i say have a butchers so yeah, i'm going to say it now i know it but yeah you know it but only because i, think I was confused me. the first time I you did. asked me yeah so <laughs> having a butchers is a butcher's hook look it's rhyming slang for have a look basically so um let me zoom out just one tiny little bit lovely i'll i'll, I'll, I'll figure out how to drive this thing sooner or later okay so spidey black pan now black panther looks so smooth i almost thought it was a female version of black panther when i first saw it i'm not gonna lie to you um <clears throat> but i do love that background mm -hmm. on that and that perspective looking up um yeah, with so I imagine it's Wakanda. That would be my guess too. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk about this Spidey because this is this is different. It is different, um, but it's you know we you've anybody that's that's read my work about you know Dave stuff and and putting narratives into into a painting when we get two of them on here. I mean it's I mean 
Dan put one, two, three, four, five different storylines yeah. into into why Spider Man puts on the mask. I mean, yeah. it's uh it it's pretty impressive. And you, we could see in that first page, this is a, it's a big painting. I mean, he had to paint it big. Yeah, yeah. It's just the um, it's just the detail of it. I love. I mean, the Green Goblin's face is terrifying for a yep. start. Yeah. Um, and I love, I love that the I've always Spidey can sometimes be proportionally different to what I mentally see Spidey as in my head. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but that, that, you know, I always equate Spidey's physique with that of, you know, those gymnasts you see at the Olympics. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Cause you know, that's the kind of thing he does. Right. Um, so it kind of feels, it feels right for that. Um, the Marvel masterpieces wording is cleverly positioned there to cover any <laughs> impropriety. Um, but, but yeah, I've just, I've just noticed the Dr. Octopus claw just on the left as well. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, yep. It's, 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 it's great. I love it. You could look at it for ages and still see stuff. Um, and the buildings are, are remarkably low for a New York, um, but maybe they're one of the suburbs because he does live in Queens. He's right. I, I think it's just a way to, to position him in the city more or less mm. than it being super, super realistic. Cause mm. we, like when we mm. talk to Tom, you can't actually have any real buildings. Otherwise yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll clip them out of there. So. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, but I, I like it cause Spidey's normally in the air in some sort of aerial pose, mm-hmm. you know, yep. um, or very occasionally he's doing what Black Panther's doing, which is brooding on a rooftop somewhere, right, um, right. which is kind of a Batman style vibe. Um, but no, I, I, I dig that a lot. Um, and I, I really like the Luke Cage as well. Um, yeah. Sweet Christmas is what I'm going to say on that one. He's even got the name on the belt. He's even got the name on the belt. Yep. yep. Um, it's a lovely there's, detail. There's a lot of little Easter eggs um, yeah. that we'll get to see really when it when it comes out in print. You yeah. know, this looks like there's some stuff on the bricks and some stuff in the sign and there's people's faces in the window. There are, yeah. Like, and what Dan, is that? Like... Dan Dan wouldn't have had to had to do any of that, but no. like it just it adds so much when you it's get that nice. little extra detail. Yeah, it is nice. It is nice. Right. Let's scroll down a bit. Right. Um I'm I I know there's Jubilee there. I'm gonna go to the Modoc first, because Modoc. Have you seen um the new Ant Man movie? I've not seen it, no. Mm, okay. Um well, spoilers, uh, Modoc's in it. <laughs> I, I knew that. I, I knew okay. that much, but Good. yeah. Good. But I All haven't right. seen it yet. It's um, on Disney Plus now, so soon. It is, it is, yeah. That's that's how I saw it, because I don't get to go I don't get to go out much anymore. <laughs> um but uh, you'll you'll get that. You'll get to know that come October. Um so yeah, I I, I, I like it a lot. Um I, I've I kind of like how weird Modoc is as a character just the this the general concept of it is just mm-hmm. so kind of out there um and i've got a slight affinity to it because <laughs> andre orsch bless him drew me as Modoc a few years ago <laughs> have you seen that piece i i don't think i have oh mate i'll show you afterwards it's hilarious so, so thank you dre um <laughs> but no i really like that and i love i love the perspective of it but i really like the people the kind of um kind of under almost under mind control um like this is neat this is neat too because with the parallel now obviously it's a it's a one of one red so there's only going to be one of it but it matches his the little mind control mm. thing and the people's eyes with the border mm. on the outside which is just that's just fun card design mm. you it's you know some cards just really work yeah. in a certain parallel and that's one of them yeah. which is probably why it's on the sell sheet yeah probably yeah um what i do like about this is the the, the border design has always been fairly subtle for mm-hmm. masterpieces yep this year feels more so um i'm not sure how pulled back it is but it does feel very subtle but enough mm-hmm. to be able to um um obviously differentiate because that you know, that's how they do it sure um that jubilee is is gorgeous i imagine that's an orange yeah uh, that's what it looks orange. like yep. um mm-hmm. i'm just checking out what the details are in there it's it's great i love it uh, i've not seen jubilee I don't think I've seen, De- seen Jubilee done this way before. She's usually a little bit kookier, maybe quite younger as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not massively familiar with with all of her looks, but I'm I'm not either. Did Dave do Jubilee in Masterpieces nope. 2020? Nope, he did Interesting. not. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then there's your 
boy Mysterio. Yeah. I say your boy because you went deep on Mysterio for Masterpieces 2020, didn't you? I did go really deep on Mysterio. How for deep did you go? How deep did you go? Uh, Tell everyone. As as deep as you could have possibly gone without um, coming out the other side. Okay. That, that will <laughs> that will be an article coming up, but uh, okay. Pre- preview. Um, I I have the Mysterio base painting, um, and the prelim, and the transfer sketch was a gift from Dave. Oh, uh, and just recently the one of one Red Spectrum. Yes. Arrived. So, round that, of that, applause. That quest is done, um, and I, I'll get to show the sketches because they haven't been in any sketch card showcases yet. So, oh, interesting. There's okay. uh, um, 40, 45, 40, 40 something Mysterio sketches from 2020 that have been scrolled what? away in this binder. Yeah. What? Mm. Oh, of course you. Yep. You kept that quiet. I didn't know you were making that many. <laughs> see, I see. I don't. I don't do that. I just. I don't tend to add sketches when I'm rainbowing because. I mean, occasionally I'll do, but generally, excuse me, sorry, generally speaking for me, it's about the different iterations of the same image. Right, sure. Um, But I know some people do might go for sketches to go along with the rainbow as well. And and I've done that for most of the the art that I've collected for sets, but it it just so happened that uh, I was able to get a a physical case of 2020 before prices got crazy bones. The first box I opened... The first sketch I opened was a Mysterio sketch. Oh, well. And I was like, well, it's on now. Like, that's, I don't make the rules. It just <laughs> is. And it's, it's one of my favorites. I, I absolutely love it. Wow. So, okay. Um, yeah. That was kind of the, kind of the one that started. But, uh, you know, Dan's done Mysterio completely differently than Dave did. Mm. And it's, it's really cool because we have, mm. we have narrative again versus, mm. you know, more of a, more of a portrait. You've got Mysterio mm. and Spider Man's being framed. If you look up at the top left, You've got the the burglar, and then oh wow, the, yes, the the knife from yeah. whatever crime of theft he's committed. Yeah, but yeah, it's uh, it's mysterious framing Spider Man. Wow. Oh, I've I've I'll ultra zoom. Hello, here. Modoc. Hello. Yeah, sorry, that was slightly too much zoom. Oh yeah, look, look, look up there mm-hmm. in the top corner. Look at that. Detail. I mean, listen. I know this is this this PDF is obviously not designed to be zoomed in quite this much, so we are losing some yeah. of the definition here, which is probably not fair on your artwork, yeah. Dan. So uh, I will zoom out. But but you're right. It's all those details that I t- see. St- I knew you'd pulled all over this. Yeah, really. and you still you still have the, like the camera lights. You see the stars. Yeah. So yeah. it's st- it's still a movie set. Yeah. Which is it's it's cool. And I I don't know what these green parallels are. I don't know what they'll be numbered to or no um no if that's they're mean. you know unnumbered or we haven't seen green well other than in um fleer ultra had like that secondary base set that was green that was unnumbered so course, maybe it's yeah. maybe it's that keep talking i'm just going to mute for one second because no one sure. needs to hear me blow my nose <laughs> i yeah. love how i say keep talking and you just shut up that's it <laughs> That's done. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. I'll edit that out. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Anyway, um, just buzz that part right out. Yeah, we'll buzz. Well, but it's that right out. What will probably happen is I'll forget, and people will be listening to this years down the line, going, "What a like, dirty just dog." Did. <laughs> right here we go. So, Canvas Gallery. Now, Canvas Gallery normally runs cards ninety-one through a hundred. Hundred. Always yep. annoyed me that it's ten cards. Always annoyed me that it's ten cards. Um, but generally speaking, it usually mirrors the characters that are in tier four, which is cards eighty-two to ninety. You usually get a different version of that character. Really? Yeah. Um, I, now I can't remember for sure if that's the case with um, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty was not like that. No. No, uh, it was for twenty eighteen and twenty sixteen. Okay, twenty twenty was different. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the thing. I still haven't finished twenty twenty. So. <laughs> but I know. Um, but no, twenty, um, and I, I liked it for twenty sixteen and twenty eighteen because it meant that if you didn't get a tier four, and let's face it, not everyone could. Sure, you could still get a visual representation of some of those characters in the set. Right, that's why I really liked it. Um, but yeah, no, twenty twenty. Obviously, they, they did something slightly different with it. Um, but this year, the canvas gallery. Now, canvas gallery has always had a gold. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is number 299. Yep. And it's always had uh, a red, which usually I think is 25. It's 25, yep. Yeah. 
But this year, they've got more going on. They've got pink and they've got green as well. Um, so no idea what the numbering is going to be on those. Um, and it also says gold spectrum, which is likely a one of one canvas too. No, I think it. I think no, I think the gold is. Oh, the, the gold's the ninety nine, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if what, they'll do a one of one. Yeah, I don't like the fact that I'm going to say this now, and they did this on twenty twenty. The one of one in sixteen and eighteen was always called a red spectrum. Mm -hmm. They've started to use that word for the parallels on the canvas gallery. And it just confuses oh, people because you end up with yeah. a different red spectrum. A red spectrum has always been it's the been one of one, one card. One of one, sure. Yeah. But people started referring to red spectrums for the canvas on 2020. And it, it yeah. did confuse a few people because it's like, sure. hang on a minute. It's a red canvas. Where's the word spectrum coming from? Right. Um, so I think I, I it, that's just my personal thing. It, it just niggles me a little bit. But these have always been incredible in hand, the gold. Uh, I never had a red. The golds, I actually had a full set of for 18, which I've since sold. Um, and I was probably six of them in on 2020 before I bailed on that because Spider-Man right. got too expensive. Yeah. Because um, everyone just went, and I was like, no, I'm out. Mm -hmm. um, but that's one of two caps that we've seen. Um, the other yes. artwork being the one with the um, cap on the poster with someone saluting up to it, which we'll come on to in a minute. Um, there's the storm again. You've got Magneto in there. Now, who's that on the top right? Is that Black Widow? I think it's Black Widow, yeah. Yep. I like that he did these as portraits. You know yes. I mean, they're, they're canvas gallery, and they're framed in that yes. ornate thing. They're they are literally portraits, and then they get framed in a trading card as a portrait, which mm -hmm. is I think is a really neat, a really neat touch to, yeah. to do it that way. It is good. It is good. Yeah, because some of the canvas have been quite detailed in the past. And so when they mm -hmm. get into – when the border comes in, you do lose some. You, you're right. It, it starts to, to look like a forced thing. This looks yeah. like the cards. Mm -hmm. He painted the canvas gallery as, like as if he – because Dan's familiar with, with Marvel and trading cards. So he knows mm – -hmm. he knew what they were going into it, um, yeah. which is which is neat. Yeah, 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 which is good. Um, I, I, I should say it's interesting seeing the reception um, when he made the announcement uh, a couple of weeks back. Um, Joe Jusco was one of the first people to comment, and uh, apparently they, they spoke very, very early on, almost as that's, soon as Dan got the gig, I believe. That's pretty cool. Um, so when Joe was telling us last year that he'd seen some of the pieces, uh, there's no smoke being blown there right, he actually right. had seen yeah, some yeah, of the pieces had, yeah sure um so I, I love that i just i've always i've always respected the way that joe welcomes and supports anyone coming into that really elite club i mean that's sure, uh, uh, sure. By, by nature by the nature of it it would always be an elite um mm -hmm. group of people because you know this is a this is it's masterpieces you know um you're not going to have sammy scribble and his crayons coming in are you there's always <laughs> going to be someone top of their game yeah. um so I, I love that i i what i love about bat widow here is that the light through the hair at the back mm -hmm. it's beautiful and mm -hmm. it really lends itself to that red border as well it does yeah yeah they i tell you upper deck did a very good job of picking the right color combinations on mm -hmm. these to as as a sell mm. sheet it's mm. they, the cards the cards look good yeah they do they do look good right let's go to the next page what we're we going to see on the next page you already know this because you probably memorized this right let's go <laughs> there we go Whee! now the preliminary art uh, i i'm i'm not gonna lie i'm excited about these preliminary arts because mm -hmm. i tell you why they look like sketch cards they do they look like the og late 90s yep. sketch graphs they are straight up pencil sketches mm. um and I've got a lot of time for that, um, which is, yeah, it is, I love it. I love it. Um, now, who is the character on the left? That is, I think, like cross-referencing to the checklist is Deathbird, Deathbird. who hasn't hasn't yes. been like she was in uh, the Metal X Men set, but not really a uh, a masterpieces character. But that's probably going to be knowing how Dan Pate's women and. And in that, like, it looks mm -hmm. like it's similar to like the the canvas gallery portrait style. Mm -hmm. That's probably going to be a phenomenal looking card. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, um, the Craven, I love. I mean, let's face it, we've been spoiled for Cravens. Um, every masterpiece at sixteen was incredible, Joe. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Simone's was 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 a wonderfully vicious visceral piece. Yeah. Obviously, there's there's Dave's with with Pat King with, with you know, Pat. Yeah. Yep. Uh, um, and this one is 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 got a lot more stillness to it than than some of those early ones. But I love that. I mean, uh, who's to tell? I mean, we haven't seen the final. Maybe it, maybe sure, it has yeah. got more going on. But um, one of the things I've loved about Craven is he's always got this uh, it's that potential for danger when he's still mm-hmm. by the very nature of what that character yep. is, yep. Um, which is cool. And I love the look of these. I really love the look of these. Um, and Squirrel Girl. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know what you can say about Squirrel Girl. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's interesting. With, uh, is it, she does, and and did you know that her sidekick squirrel apparently is called Tippy? I did not know that. No, no, I I, I didn't know that either. Um, <laughs> it's one of those bits of knowledge I'm not sure I need in my head. Um, but but Death Bird, it's interesting with 2020. Obviously, you had you had Dave's deep cuts. I mean, Dave went. There were some deep cuts in that. Sure, you know, sure. um, um, wonderfully executed ones as well. Um, so I think this is going to be Dan's deep cuts. I'm, I'm sure that, well, at least hopefully he got the opportunity to do kind of the same thing. Cause it gives you characters. You'll never yeah. really get to see painted this way. Like, I know. You, you know, you can pull comic, you know, pictures of, of anybody, obviously mm. for those, for the comic book sets, but, mm. uh, mm. to, to, to get something like that in a masterpiece is really mm. cool. So we've got the metallurgy, which is this, this is the second master set masterpieces set they've been in. Mm-hmm. Now with 2020, they were hand numbered. So it's interesting that these are hard stamped this time, uh, limited to 25. Mm-hmm. Um, these, I mean, you, you know, I've been, I've been quite a fan of these metal cards in whatever set they appear. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm regretting selling my master of magnetism ones from Fleer Ultra X-Men 2018. Um, only because I'm less of an X-Men person. So I sure. like the kind of the variety of it. Um, I've got the one for Black Cat from 2020. Um, and I've got some of them from um, Spider-Man Metal Universe. And what I love about them is they are, the, the colors on them are, are, are so vibrant and so rich. Yep. It's obviously yep. a, a different print process to whatever goes onto the paper. Yeah. And it, yeah, they pop. I don't know if it's like the uh, like a dye sublimation or or whatever it is, but they they look really good and they feel nice too. You know, it's yeah. Masterpiece of stock always feels good, but then you get a little bit of weight to it, and it's mm. they're they're nice. They they really are, and these these look like they're gonna they're gonna print just as as nicely as as mm. years past. Yeah, and it lends itself again to the color scheme and the palette and the way that D- Dan's work looks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I, <laughs> I think it was Matt Fuller saw a comment in, in a group. He said, it's nice to see a picture of Professor X where he's not doing this. Yeah, no, it, it is nice. Or yeah. doing that, you know, uh-huh. kind of vibe. Uh, where's the camera yep. there? It's like that. Um, and I know I've kind of got the hairstyle for it. but um, you Put you in a suit and you're right there. Put me in a suit in a wheelchair. Yeah, I love that you, you avoided saying wheelchair there, so thank you for that. <laughs> um <laughs> But Ultron, I mean Ultron. Ultron's gnarly. I rewatched Age of Ultron recently, um, and I'd not seen it since it came out what ten years ago now, and it's much much more enjoyable than I remember. This is probably an unpopular opinion, but that is one of my favorite Marvel movies. I love the MCU Ultron with James Spader as the voice. Ed, yes, I, I just do. I love that character. I love how he did it. Mm. And I it that movie got a real bad rap when it came out, but I yeah. I rewatched it last week. I think yeah. it was on. It, was I, so it holds up. I love it. it really holds up. And I actually mm. think it it's it's interesting. With some of the more recent Marvel movies have been, I haven't seen Guardians three yet, but I found them. Hmm. You were very aware that they were cogs in a in a machine moving a bigger story forward. Sure, and you didn't. You, you kind of, in hindsight, I guess you could see that with the movies from before, but now it feels like you're kind of expecting it to be the case. You know, right. like, sure, this is setting sure. up this, this is setting up this. Yeah. And they were like that before, but but Ultron is so brilliant in that it sowed so many seeds for all the stories that followed. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, it really did lay, lay a lot of groundwork for it. So, yeah, I, I, I dig it a lot, an awful lot. Um, anyway, let's move on. Um, so what we got next? Let's scroll, scroll, scroll. <laughs> right. I've not seen any of these apart from the middle two 
until this very moment because like i said i didn't look i didn't look at this sheet now i'm not going to go where you think i'm going to talk about first i want to talk about rocket raccoon because look at that yeah <laughs> look at that image is that is that like a teenage rocket raccoon or something it's pretty, it's pretty let me, cool let me um all right is it gonna let me scroll i don't know what my my pdf thing is doing are you gonna let me scroll there we go let's have a look at this guy wow i i, I don't think i've seen a rocket like that because he's no, kind that's, of that's it's cool yeah why what's what's, what's it doing what donny help me what's it doing <laughs> I can't drive. There we go. That's better. All right. There you are. There we are. Right. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it's just all going so well. Um, I'm sure there's a continuous scrolling option I can do somewhere on this thing. But you know what? Sod it. Um, I, I, yeah. It's just the fact that he he kind of looks like he's got. He's got a big ass gun. Look at the bullets around him. Yep, yeah, it's got all kinds um, of shell casings, and it it just looks it looks like John McClane out of Die Hard. That's it. It's cool. It's it's a neat version of of <laughs> Rocket. It's I don't know. It's, it is. It's cool. He's like it sitting is. up on his tail. Now, yeah. obviously, they've mocked it up with the lines because it's going to be on the um, lenticular mirage. So right. I don't know what the other characters are going to be on this. I imagine maybe there's a Guardians of the Galaxy one. Right. Uh, maybe the one on the left with Beta Ray Bill or, or Beta Ray Bill, or however you pronounce it, yeah. um, is going to be maybe a Thor related one. Probably, yeah, um, that would make and, sense. Yeah, and the middle one, obviously, you got we got Mars Morales. There is there is an image of that. I just spotted them up there at the top. Look, there's so many yeah. details in this. It's a it's a comic book panel. You have yeah. the top, and it's just, but he's literally coming out of the comic book page. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm digging this. I'm digging this a lot. Uh, Beta Ray Bill, interestingly, only called Bill at the bottom. Yeah, on just that Bill. one. Yeah, uh, that's just Bill. Hello, it's Bill. Right, right, Bill. <laughs> uh, right. Where do you want it? Where do you want it? Over there. Okay, good. It's like the guy who comes to deliver your fridge. Um, <laughs> I don't. Uh, I have zero knowledge or affinity with Beta Ray Bill. Uh, I, I, I know nothing not about him character. either. Yeah, yep. I care not for him at all. Um, I, I and quite frankly, my life is too short to be finding out more about him right now. But it's a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful image. Um, now let's scroll down. Oh. There's your girl. There she is. Now, interestingly, that I believe that's how she's supposed to look upside down. Although well, I have a feeling she might be facing the wrong way. But there is also an image out that we'll look at in a minute where she's the other way round. Mm -hmm. But the lettering is exactly as it is there. So. Um, but my understanding is she's supposed to be upside down, and the original painting does have her in a very similar concept to mm -hmm. that of 2020 with the lasers and the um, kind of burglarizing somewhere. Yeah, that's that's what the other one looked like, yep. But um, I'm going to say this now as evidenced by Dagger, and Dagger is a character I could seriously PC if I had the money because <laughs> I've, I love Dagger. Cloak and Dagger are from the period of Spider-Man where I was really getting into Spider-Man like as a kid, like getting into sure. it and when I discovered mm -hmm. Black Cat. Um, so it could have gone either way. It could have gone Black Cat or Dagger for me. Um, but Dagger always had some bloke hanging around with a big cloak, So um, <laughs> whereas Black Cat was kind of on her own. So I, I took it that she was more, more available. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Preserved Amber. So these are new. These are new to masterpieces. Yep. Um, now they did a they did an amber parallel for they watched Spider Man twenty seventeen. Okay, I knew I'd seen it before, but mm. I didn't collect back then. So I, but I it was familiar, but I couldn't remember where. Yeah, from. they weren't massively loved. I mean, some people dug them, but they weren't. Yeah, you know, they weren't the kind of the top hit. So you know, when you think of Marvel Black Diamond, you've got your 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 diamond facets, which are the film cell cards, they're probably the the, the runts of the litter for Black Diamond. Sure, you know, sure. They're still beautiful cards, but right. they're just not everyone's first choice. So the preserved amber was kind of that of Fleer Ultra Spider Man for for a lot of collectors. Um, that and uh, yeah, and that's the other thing. The preserved amber was not original artwork for Fleer Ultra Spider Man that's in seventeen. Yeah. Um, these, however, um, yeah, I mean. He 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 nails the hair. Yeah, he, Dan, he nails it. Dan knows how to how to paint women at the very 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 top uh, of of 
you know, fantasy illustrators yeah. that are that are working today. These I'd noticed these have the I guess maybe the other ones were like that too. They have the backgrounds stripped out from them. Yes. Which which I don't love just because I like to situate the character in the scene and Dan does a really, really good job of that at, mm-hmm. you know, from what we've seen so far. So that's kind of it's a little jarring for me, but yeah, it's you do get to see hair in all three of these, which is really really yeah. nice. Yeah, well, well, that one's fire, but yeah. still hair, <laughs> fire hair. Not now, that we know anything about um, hair, but so yeah, let's not talk about that. Um, what I'm taking from this is that this will be a parallel throughout the whole set, throughout the whole one to ninety. And it says um, they're serial numbered, and so they're serial numbered as well. So I, I don't know what they're serial number two. Uh, that may be out there. I just simply don't know it right now. Um, I'm sure someone will, will probably tell me. Um, if not the passage of time, because you know, that's the thing with this set. I kind of got to the point where I was like, listen, it'll come. Just be patient. Mm-hmm. It'll get there, you know. Um, um but I, I yeah, everyone's getting very, very excited about it, and and rightly so. I mean, it sounds like it's coming fairly quickly too, based on like some people have posted those images from the distributors of like order dates in yeah July, which is like now order dates. Uh, I believe the cutoff for one of them that I've actually got, oh, I've actually got it open on my screen, but I don't think I can jump to it because I think I'm just in this window. Um, is the this week is the order cut off, and then they've got a date of the 30th of August. Um, yeah. So who knows? I mean, the last set came out in September, so it kind of fits. It, um, it does, yeah. And Dave announced in July, so that would be about that's right. About right. That's right. Um, so, yeah. So, cool. So we've got some amber. So we've already got an extra... We've already got an extra parallel there. We've got the amber ones. Um, we think we've got a green as well for mm-hmm. the base set. So there's two extra base set parallels there. Um, okay, what's going on? Right, there's loads of stuff going on on this page. Let me just... Right, there's that second image of Captain America that we were talking about, uh-huh. Uh-huh. which I will zoom in on. Now that I seem to have figured out how to drive it a bit better. It's like someone trying to get used to driving a car with a with a gear, a stick shift, I think you call them. Um and they're crunching the gears. So imagine <laughs> that every time I'm I'm trying to adjust this. Um I think this is really cool. And it really it really kind of pays homage to his um World War Two Origins, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. With, with it's the, uh, uh it's him, but he's on the poster, which is yeah. which is neat. It's like a, a scene inside a scene. Mm. Which is what Captain America kind of was, you know, mm-hmm. back in the forties. It was propaganda. Yeah. It was, you know, yeah, I'm growing propaganda. Uh, you don't quite get it with the bordering here, but that is a poster on a brick wall. Um, yeah. There is stuff written on it, and there's other uh, kind of bill stickers on the wall as well. Um, but yeah, those they're very period-looking children as well. I would suggest, given the the suspenders, right. suspenders, yeah, yeah, yep. we call them braces in the UK. Interesting. Belt, belt and braces. The, the expression "belt and braces" means you've got a belt around your waist, okay, and you've yeah. got braces. Braces. Huh. So that's what they're called. Braces. I did not. I did not know that. Yeah. So if anyone says "belt and braces," that's what it means. It means you know, your d- double double the protection of your trousers falling down, <laughs> or your pants, as you guys call them. Um, it, why? Why do you have so many different words? Why do you have so many different words? Well, no, I believe you'll find it's the Queen's English, dear. You guys just mullered it. <laughs> <laughs> or the King's English, as it is now. Um, but, um, but uh, yeah, who knows? I don't, I don't, you know, I don't care. Um, it's just I know when I say pants to people, they think I'm talking about the outer ones, or I'm not. I'm talking about the inner ones. Um, Black Widow versus Titan. So Battle Spectrum are back, baby. Yeah, so um, spe- Spectrum now instead of Spectra, which is interesting. And maybe more confusing. Everything's a spectrum. Everything is on the spectrum. It appears uh, with with this design now. Um, uh, Taskmaster. I, you know what? I I, I dig this Taskmaster because it's it's got Taskmaster is often portrayed in quite. Oh, I want to say grubby. That's the wrong word. But it's often quite a dark image when sure. Taskmaster is portrayed. Um, and this one's got a lot more brightness to it, and then maybe that's to contrast Black Widow. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, and she's got the same haircut, so it's obviously, you know. Yeah, that that other image is almost certainly Black Widow. Yeah, yeah. Um, I dig it, but Battle Spectra gems, signed ones. 
This is That's, new. Yeah, gems are old, not, numbered to 99, I think, but they have not been signed before, so maybe mm. to 10. Yeah, interesting. And this looks like it's got a green bordering on. So you know what? Why don't I zoom out and see what it actually says? Discovered numbered battle spectra gems parallel. So you've got more than one parallel. You've got a green parallel, which looks signed. Gems, you've yeah. got a red one. Oh. And you've got, uh, looks gold. Maybe? A gold one. So I wonder if they did the the gold for the one of one like they've done for some of the recent yeah. ones, awesome. and maybe the the ninety nine is the red and the green is the mm. ten. Well, I'm not well, sure. It would make sense for the red to be the one of one because that fits with the red one of one in the base set. That that's um, true. They the they've gold... started to use to gold for some of them though, which is really confusing. But yeah. I don't know the go. I mean, if if it if like, it kind of fit with the canvas kind of numbering, it would make sure, more sense sure. to me. That would, yeah. Um, oh, that's true. So the gold it, could be ninety nine, and then the red would be twenty five, or 25 one of one, or one of yeah. one. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I are there one either. of ones? Who knows? Maybe maybe, maybe there isn't one. Yeah, the um, right. But I mean, it, it would make sense for me if that's the regular. The gold is ninety nine, and the red is twenty five, because that would fit with the canvas. Sure, you that know, would make sense. Um, yes, and then the green is obviously um, a signed one, so that might be ten. It might even be fifteen, because right. Jusco did sign fifteen of the buybacks. I want to say, I think the buybacks. Oh, right. the buybacks, right? Yeah. Um, thought just having a sit down after a heavy day of um, doing stuff. Um, I can't see what's written on that hammer because it's upside down, but. Um, I I think because Dan shared this full image on his Patreon, which people should join if you haven't, because yep. it's really super great. We will put a link in the show notes. All mm -hmm. of the stuff. Uh, it's the the saying that whoever should hold this hammer will have the power of Thor. Oh, okay, I, I believe is what it says. Yeah, it's usually but what it says. Much more eloquently than I just stumbled through it. Oh, I don't know. I thought that was pretty good. Um, <laughs> the uh, wasp. That's cool. I dig that. Cool. I, I'm not quite sure what's going on in the background. I will try and zoom in again. Um, yeah. Here we go with the crunch of gears. And I, I'm guessing there's probably speckles and kaleidoscopes again. Yeah, probably. Probably. I mean, I only went for the regular holofoil. I did actually pull some... I think the speckles were 99, the kaleidoscope is 25. If yeah, I yeah, remember correctly, it's one of the That's what it other. was before, yeah. yep. yep. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't actually care for the kaleidoscope or the speckles. I know people went nuts for them, but I, it's never been something I really oh. dug. Personally. When when I opened my physical case, it was like instead of getting oranges, I got speckles, which was fine. But they're okay. they're not really my my jam either. And mm. I think I opened one kaleidoscope that I traded fairly quickly. Mm. It's just mm -hmm. it's they're cool, but I I kind of skipped out on that. She she's I guess small flying out of something yeah larger, but we yeah. have to wait to see what it is. Yeah. Um. Well, I tell you, I, I I've just realized why why I didn't get on with them so well. It's because the, the speckle and the kaleidoscope effect kind of got in the way of the art for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's why the issue is. It's one of the reasons I started going for the gold um, gallery on the canvas with 2018 was the, the, the base canvas have this um, kind of um, uh, texture to them, that, which makes them the canvas in the first place. But also it's it tends to dampen the color coloring a little bit just the uh, nature okay. of that service so when you went to the gold spectrum although you'd lost so gold gallery uh for the canvas although uh -huh. uh, it wasn't actually called canvas it was called gold gallery that's it because it wasn't okay. on a canvas finish it was on a, it was on a gloss oh move interesting finish, and the colors were brighter so that's why if you're if you want the simone especially the 2018 ones if you can get the gold gallery uh, parallel of the canvas, the artwork just has that much more vibrancy because his work is quite dark anyway. Sure. Um, and that's why I started going after the the, the uh, Dave's ones because Dave's Dave's work was um, reproduced and it was a was a brighter palette across mm -hmm. the board anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but I um, I kind of ran out of steam with it, like I said, so I didn't end up finishing that. Yeah. But um, but yeah, the canvas gallery does does. It's not the best. It's it's kind of does the opposite of what the metallurgy does in terms of the artwork. Instead of enhancing it and making it really vibrant, it just kind of dulls it a little bit. Right, right. Um, which is a shame. So may, maybe this year, I mean, I think that's just the nature of the canvas finish. 
on a thick it, card. It it might be. Mm. Um, even the Jisco ones were a bit. They're, they're just a bit matte as well. Um, so hence hence canvas. Right here we go. So I've not seen this Daredevil before. Wow. Okay. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Now I'm on record as saying I think that Dave Palumbo's Daredevil was possibly one of the best ones I've ever seen. I would also agree with you. Just the 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 the, the use of the negative space on it, and hang on a minute, my computer is catching up. Come on, you stupid machine! There we go. Um, let's have a closer look at that Daredevil. I like it. I like yeah. it. I mean, you can't really see the the red of his costume there. Because it's it's almost black panthery, mm -hmm. um, but the look at the circles around they're kind of almost yeah. like heartbeats. Very, very similar idea yeah. of the the sonar from the top, but yet still different enough from yeah. from from Dave's that it's a very unique image in and of itself. Mm, I love that. I love that, and the red is used and really pops with the eyes and with the um, the DD on his chest. Yeah. Yep. No, oh, that's good. And then Domino. Uh, so that's just the first what if we're seeing. Yep. Um, yep. What ifs I am. Um, I used to really dig the what ifs and I used to collect them, but I kind of, um, I, I off boarded them simply because sometimes I felt that they, they were, some of them really lent, some of them really lend themselves to them. So I'll tell you the one from 2020 that really worked was um, Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider absolutely yeah, that sure. artwork worked with mm -hmm. the conceit of putting it in the frame of the original issue right um whereas some of them just really don't work very well at all i i like the what if series a lot too even mm -hmm. like when it came to to the what if autographs like i i started picking up some of those just oh wow because yeah. they they looked really nice now i've, I've since traded you know them all but but mm -hmm. my mysterio ones but like even this card you know as much as dan paints backgrounds this this isn't doesn't appear like it's a background removed. It's mm. just like he just didn't need it to show Domino, mm. which is really really cool. And then we get all of her. It's it's a phenomenal painting. Yeah, no, it is lovely. It is lovely. I know Nathan Nathan Braben, Tribu Collectibles, is a Domino fan, and I'm sure oh, okay. he's um, I'm sure he's very very excited. About I'm this. sure he is too. Yeah, I'm just gonna mute my phone. I don't think it picks up on the mic because I've got a noise cancelling mic, but. So, People are messaging me, which is great. <laughs> um, um, what we got down here, I will read some of the words on here in a minute, but I'm just at the moment, I'm just looking at the artwork. So this is a Battle Spectra gem, Miles, Miles Morales versus the Green Goblin. But this is, so this is another gems parallel. This is a, this, well, this is the this green is, one, but without the signature. I think it's a different green. This is like is the, this is the gems from like what we had like, the in past masterpieces years okay. the other yeah, one yeah, looks yeah. like pmg green yeah signed i think it's a i think it's another another version that's a gnarly goblin that's terrifying that goblin yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> i like miles's sneakers it's, that's brilliant that's really cool it's a very gobliny goblin it's a very good <laughs> gobliny goblin um Good. Okay, let me zoom out a bit because there's writing on here that's probably worth looking at because it gives us information about what's going on in the set. So um, now previous masterpieces um, from 2016, so modern, you know, what currently masterpieces, is always been three cards a pack and um, I think it was 12 packs a box because I think it was 36 cards you got in a pack, if I remember yes. correctly, yep. in, a, in a box. Yep. Correct. Um, so it's, it, you know, because they're thick, you know, they're premium ones. Um the metallurgy won't be that thick. Um, the mirage generally aren't that thick. They are, yeah, the regular. Stock, yeah, and 30, I imagine, 35. yeah, I imagine the preserved amber will probably be thinner as well. Okay. Um, so, um, so yeah, just by nature of the how those cards have been in the past. Um, so every pack you get a base card uh, and a premium insert or parallel uh let me move the little window that we're in uh or parallel cards there we go um box hits on average we get canvas battle spectrum holofoil or preliminary art yeah because preliminary sense. art was one one per box before um yep. they were although... all i think one one per you usually get actually... one of you got one of each i think yeah no when we did when we did the box for the podcast channel i think we got two or three preliminary art in that box which i think was an unusual one 
So from what I, just because I watched way too many of the box openings in 2020, it was, they were very like formulaic. You could kind of tell where <laughs> okay. stuff was. If you open the second preliminary art, there was no like major hit. That was, right. it was, it wasn't a, a dud box, so to speak. But like, if you saw a second preliminary art, then that meant there probably wasn't an auto uh, or a metallurgy or something like that. But you still had a chance at, you know, a, a good character, like in mm. your 99 or your, uh, your purple or any of those. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm with you. So, I'm with you. Oh, sorry. It's not you. It's me. Um, and then case hits on average, uh, an autograph parallel uh from dan dos santos uh i don't know if it's and or here i don't know if this is and or or um what i find interesting about this list actually let's, let's go through this dan dos santos autograph parallel mirage metallurgy metallurgy not lurgy um preserved in amber artist autographed is listed as a separate thing I don't know. I don't know what that is. And it's also interesting that I think in 2020, it said like two on average, and it was like Mirage and an auto mm. or something mm. like that. But there's also no mention of, of sketches. It says it on the left side. It does. Additional chase hits, it but does. Our maybe sketches are not one per box. I'm this well, time. I know that there there have been enough people say it that it surely it must be true, such as the internet. But I, I believe <laughs> that it, uh, the, the current kind of thinking is it's not going to be one per box. Uh, I think that, I've seen people saying it could be one per case. That's a bummer. So that yeah. was one of the best parts about 2020. That's one of the best parts about Marvel masterpieces since 2007 was the one per box. Um, yeah. But um, it lists on the other side, additional chase hits, canvas gallery variants, one of one sketch cards, um i've just seen something at the bottom which is exciting me i'll come back to that uh battle spectrum gems hollow foil parallels uncut sheet redemption so they're back that's cool good um i always like the cards the redemption cards on those mm -hmm. they're actually quite cool in of yeah, themselves they are yeah. um i'm still missing a few of those from previous sets actually so if anyone's got any spares give a shout um i'm shameless aren't i red spectrum <laughs> foil based parallels <laughs> And then this is exciting. So redemptions for original paintings. So in 2020, there were two mm -hmm. your paintings. One, one, was... one in physical boxes and one on e -pack. Yeah. Um, you've also got a preliminary art pieces, uh, redemptions. So um, I've not seen what they look like or what format they are. So hopefully um, it may well be out there. May, may Dan might have already said this on, on other content, but... Um, uh, hoping to ask him um or comic book sketch covers by dan dos santos so dave did some of these yep yep um uh, uh, that's exciting i can't remember how many were done i don't remember how many of the i want to say 10 of the comic yeah, book covers because they said what the the covers were but yeah. only a handful of them ever ever turned up um, yeah a lot the of cat one yeah a lot of the prelims from dave showed up but mm. not all of them i had a spreadsheet where i was tracking what turned up publicly, ah, right but... okay um i foolishly started a thread on marvel masterpieces but then completely couldn't keep it up so it's, it, it, <laughs> let everyone down it um, became a lot there was such a delay between yeah. redemption and those that yeah. first shipment yeah the thing is i've done it on 2018 for simone's so yeah. i thought oh, i can do it again for 2020 but then you know life got in the way um so sorry everybody um Oh, there we go. Uh, that's the end of the sell sheet. Shall we have a look at... Let me stop sharing for a sec. Um, and there we are, big on screen again. Let's wave to the audience. Hello, audience. Hello. Um, let's... <laughs> Good, grief. Good grief, Ian. Let me get this up on my screen. And we are going to look through. So um, there's the stuff that's out there, but... Our friends at Upper Deck sent me some high-res images of six of the pieces Ooh. that have been put out there, and I don't think these have been seen as cleanly um, as I have here. So let me share my screen, and we will look at them. That's a spicy tomato. Or it is a spicy tom tomato. tomato for you, tomato, I guess. Tomato, tomato, the... <laughs> tomato, tomato. Um, so this, now some of these, I think, I think all of these have been seen. It's just I don't think they've been seen quite as cleanly as this so first up we have this one 
Ah. There he is. Um, nice. Now I can properly zoom on this and it won't, because like I said, I've been sent a high res. These are about four meg per. Now, Dan, Dan, you've been posing for your artwork again, haven't you? <laughs> this is like this is like this is like old Dave Wizard Palumbo. Yeah. Um, yep. So that's clearly Dan Dos Santos. Uh, yeah. Um, sans beard, um, looking rather <laughs> steric. He's got a little blanket on his legs. Um, I like I like the brick. I, I do I like love the brick. The, the name right in the brick. That's very mm, cool. Mm. And he's right out right at the center of the X. Yeah. I, I you know what? I'm a sucker for anyone who does really good brick texture. And that, mm. that can't be easy to do. I can't think it is, yeah. I mean, look at look at how let me look, we can zoom right in. I mean, look at this. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'm sure he'll tell us how we do it, and you'll probably understand what he says, but I won't because I'm not, you know, I'm not as as connected to uh, art styles and you know how to how it how it happens. I'm just an appreciator of rather than knowing the technicalities of it. I just I just think it's alchemy. Um, I love the sh- shadow as well. The shadow that's coming here. So it's, you yeah, know. I wonder. Yeah, I guess it's the. Uh... Maybe there's a massive That's... hole in the roof. Oh, is it a sentinel? Maybe I don't know. What is it? No, I think it's. I think it's just the way he's. Oh, it's he, the shadow the... of him. Yeah, it's it's his shadow. Oh. The light source okay. coming. Yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. That's where you get the little reflection, and then it's going to cast yeah, the yeah. shadow. Yeah, I dig it. There's a there's a shadow there. I don't know who that is. Maybe it's maybe it's someone who's painting him. No, that's good. I love it. I like this kind of this. This will be nice on the aluminium. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would really be nice. Right, let's have a look at the next one, shall we? Let me just get this out of the way. Where's my little arrow? Come on. Come on. Where's my arrow? It's supposed to be an arrow here. Uh, sorry, bear with. Havoc. Wow. Look at Good that. Stuff. Good That's stuff. Nice. So again, like I said, this this has this is out there. Uh, it is out there as an image, but um, this is the um, proper proper high reg high res. Yeah, variant. Co- this is yeah. This was called variant cover on the file name. Um, let's have a close look at this one. Yeah, that's cool. I love it. I do. I love the what if set. I really, I, I you're a again, sucker for 20, them, aren't you? I, it's bad. It's 2020 was my first year collecting, but I, that was the set I finished first. Really? Like, as far as base sets. Yeah. I, yeah, I like yeah. them a lot. Right. Let's go to the next one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gallery magneto. There's, a, it's interesting. A lot of the characters, this isn't a criticism, it's just an observation. A lot of the characters, have got kind of glowing eyes. Mm-hmm. I guess it's the. Is that a Danism? It's. I, I don't. Mm, I don't know that it, that it is necessarily. Yeah. Other than he's. I like it. It. I. I like it too. I guess it's. It's them. You know. It, it's a way to to show somebody being uh, of a Powerful. different level of power. I guess than, so. Yeah. Than yeah. just having regular eyeballs. I think he's got a bit of a. You can see some stubble. I don't think mm-hmm. I've ever seen Magneto. I mean, I've seen it. I think there's images of him with a beard. Sure, but that's that's cool. I love. I can. I appreciate the detail on that one. Yeah. Um. Th- uh, this is lovely. This one. This is cool. I really love it. Look at all these like, like deadites. I guess is what I want to call. Yeah. Them. <laughs> um. I really like the lightning. Um, that's good stuff yeah hella's such a cool looking character she really is i really like the um what they did in thor ragnarok with that character it mm-hmm. really 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 worked because they kept yeah. it so true to her look in the comics yep um and the black diamond base card of hello is just uh, yeah. phenomenal it really really pops this looks um, really good as a green too whatever yeah parallel this ends up being but yeah because because of her green and the Mm. dead people would be green and yeah 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 yeah. and dan's signature across the middle of it um cool right what else i've got two more i think uh there he is that's that miles one again Mm -hmm. this is so much cleaner than the one that's on the sell sheet yeah it's Um, so cool how he's he's literally the pencil yep he's swinging out of the the comic book yeah that's just it's just the pencil there it's just genius 
Yep. I don't know yep. what these other little bits are, are floating around, but you know, yeah, that's cool. I like that's it. Neat. I like it. And then the last one, the last high res one I was sent is your boy Magneto. That's Mysterio. Which is good. Uh, sorry, Matt yeah. Mysterio. So I knew it began with M and ended with O. So, you know, I wasn't far off. But <laughs> look, right, listen, we can get into some of that detail now because look mm-hmm. at the resolution. Look at this yep. and the webs. Yep. It's a, you, yeah. you, you know, you have a whole story. Yeah. Uh, like good. a whole story into a painting that's, that's true to the character's backstory. And it's there. Yeah, that's, that's very, very yeah. cool. I like it. Very, very I like cool. it a lot. These cars just around the bottom here. Mm-hmm. It's police cars, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Nice one. Um, right. I have got images of other individual cards that I lifted off Beckett.com. I think we've seen most of them. Let's take a little dr- little drive okay. through them. Sure. They're a little bit smaller. Um yep. so we've got the the this is the clean canvas gallery without the border on that one. Uh, that's a that's a big ass chunk of block in the middle. On I, I thought one. the same thing, but yeah. I remember that the canvas galleries from twenty twenty had a big yeah. giant block yeah, at yeah, the yeah. bottom too. So yeah. I guess yeah. it's just a different design. Uh, so there's your there's your domino. That's great. Uh, we've seen that's the Thor that we saw. So most of these are individual images of the ones that were on the on the cell sheet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ultron. Uh, there's the Miles again. Storm with her pink yep. gallery. That's nice. I like that. That looks so cool, that preliminary art. Um, Black Cat. Again, now that, that one. Now, that, you see, interesting. On the cell sheet, it was she was the right way up, but now she's mm-hmm. like the wrong way up. <laughs> and and the, the base card, though, that, that was floating around on one of those sites, I thought oh. had her this way. Interesting. I haven't seen a base card of it. Maybe yeah. I'm unless it was this. I can't remember. Yeah, the, yeah. The painting, the painting's definitely upside down. Um. So who knows? We'll see. I mean, the, the, listen, all of these are mock-ups at the moment. They're, none of them are images of the real thing. Uh-huh. Um. So there's Magneto again. Let's see. That's that cat. I. Yeah, I know the paint. I know Dave has shown the painting. Oh, so Dan has shown the painting. Apologies, Dan. I'm going to accidentally say Dave a number of times. I'm sure. <laughs> I am. If 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 I get to speak to him at some point and I accidentally call him Dave and you're with me, can you slap me, please? I, I will. I will. Okay. Through the screen. Okay. Good. Uh, Press Rex. Have a yeah. We've seen these. There we go. And there's the big ones. Right. Do you want to look at, and I know what the answer will be on this one, do you want to look at, and this is in public domain, the list of paintings? Yes. Okay. Now, we should talk about that. I am not going to call it a checklist because it's not, because this is just a list of the paintings. Right. It's like a, it's a, char- it's yeah. a character list. So we don't know what card they'll be on. We don't know okay. what's tier one, what's tier two, what's tier three. Now, some of them you can guess because they're such and such versus such and such. They'll be on the battle spectrum. Right. Um, and and we, we've seen that there's a couple characters with multiple cards too. Yeah. So that'll be the base and the canvas. So, yeah. Or the base and the gallery rather. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so right. let's have a look at that. Now, I'm good. before I go to this, I'm going to thank Nathan Braben, again, of True Blue Collectibles because on one of the first things that – Dan did publicly to pr- promote the show. He gave a, uh, to promote the set. He gave away um, this list of painting, this exact list of painting. So what you're about to see is an image of that. It's printed on paper, and it's signed by Dan. There it is. Now I have just been sent a slightly high res version of it, but for the purposes of this, we're going to go with it. Right. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, obviously this will be um, all these images by the way folks will be on the show notes for those who listen on audio um, you can probably tell that you know since I've started putting these onto YouTube I'm leaning more and more onto less description about stuff and assuming that you're big, big enough and ugly enough to get yourself to YouTube if you actually want to see what's being talked about <laughs> um, but I will um, because I've always done it I will put all these images on the show notes for the audio version which will be on the Facebook page for the podcast so if you want them go there or go to YouTube 
Right. Uh, these are in alphabetical order up until Wolverine, and then we get into the doubles. And then we've got loads of single characters again. So I'm betting they might be holofoil. In fact, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's scroll down. Yeah, here we go. Right. So you've got Ant-Man down to X-23 here, and then the wording starts again. With Cloak, Dagger, Iceman, Archangel. So I'm guessing that they might be... I don't know. Are they holofoils? Because we saw the Thor holofoil. Yeah, we did. Right on the, on the cell sheet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we've seen a we've seen a Black Widow canvas, we've seen a Captain America. Oh, interesting! Gallery. And Spider Man is on there twice. Yes, yes. So we've only seen one of the Spider Mans. I'm assuming the Spider Man we've seen is Unless, the base card one. I think well, it didn't it have the base border? I thought. Yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless Spider Man is Miles. In one no, of those, uh, Miles is listed separately as Miles Morales. Look, interesting. I called that. Wow. Okay. Right. So all the usual suspects are here. Let me have a look down through this list. You've got uh, Ant Man, Beast, Bishop, Black Panther. We've seen Black Widow. We've seen the Canvas, Canvas. Gallery version. Yeah. We haven't seen the base version, and she's also in there as a Battle Spectrum. Versus and then Tarkmark. she's look. She's at the top of the third right column too. Yeah, that I think that's the uh, canvas gallery. I think you're probably yeah, right. Yeah, I think that top top right of the third column. Yeah, I think there's is the canvas gallery. Yeah, there's there's ten. Yeah, um, that checks out. So, uh, black bolt, black cat. We know now. I'm straight away. My my eye is drawn to blade and blink. Uh, being in there. Um, those cool. deeper cuts. I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing what Dan does with Blade. I I, really I, I like Blink a lot. I have a little sketch yeah. collection of her from 2020. Oh, wow. Okay. And, yeah. Um. She is she a mutant? She's a mutant, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And like usually mutants aren't super my thing, but I really like that character. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Cable, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Cyclops, Daredevil, Dot Phoenix. There's Death Bird. So that's mm -hmm. that's another that's another Dan's deep cuts. Um. Doc Ock Domino. <laughs> Dupe. 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 Dupe in what's likely the base set. That's fun. Oh my that god. That is fun. I'm <laughs> all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it now. Tier four for dupe. Oh my god. If can they do what they did, if they can, did, it's gonna drive folk nuts. Can you if they imagine? Do that. I I really hope they do that. Somebody's um, gonna have to pay pay the big monies for the dupe card. I, and you know what? And <laughs> no, I like that people it took people outside of their collecting comfort zone mm -hmm. a little mm -hmm. bit. And you know what? I, I actually say ego, the, the living planet, is one of my favorite pieces of art. Oh yeah, from phenomenal pieces yes. 2020. Um, and I notice Ego's not on this list. I would have loved to have seen what Dan would have done with Ego, the Living Planet. Yep. But, you know, it's Dan's list. Um, what else we got here? Um, uh, Electra, I'm excited about that. Uh, and Emma Frost. Um, Enchantress Eternity. We haven't seen Eternity for a little while. Yeah, that's interesting. That could be quite mind-bending, actually. Um Gamora, Ghost Rider, Groot, Havoc, Hercules. Hercules. I've I've got a, I've got a slight personal detaste for Hercules. <laughs> just bringing in anything, um, I just don't dig him as a character. He's um, just been around for I know, a while. I know. I don't know. Um, not wanting to not wanting to piss on anyone's chips, but but I'm sure it'll look amazing. Um, Hope Summers, Hulk, of course, Iron Fist, Jean Grey, Jessica Jones. I, lo I love yeah, you like her a lot yeah I do yeah I do I've I've I've, I've dug her I was doing a, a rainbow um Fleer Ultra Avengers but I've kind of very quickly realized that I was collecting Fleer Ultra Avengers just for the sake of collecting Fleer Ultra Avengers not that I was massively passionate about owning the sure. show um because you know I'm more of a spidey guy so um so I'm probably going to be bailing on what I got from it but but you know there's yeah, you know, brilliant artwork in in Flair Ultra Avengers. I'm looking forward to seeing what Dan does. Um, Jubilee, we've seen Juggernaut, uh, Kitty Pride, Kitty Pride. I'm looking forward to the Kitty Pride. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got a lot of time for people doing Kitty Pride in sets. Um, especially if the little dragon um, ends up being in a fight <laughs> as well. <laughs> you can't knock a bit of Lockheed action. 
Craven, we've seen the prelim of. Gagging to see the last, last uh, the um, actual final of that. Mm-hmm. Lizard, Luke Cage, we've seen um, Magic. It should be called Man Thing. Okay. Dave, I like Man Thing. Did Dave do Man Thing? Man Thing was tier three. Yeah. He had like the super like emotional red eyes coming out of the swamp. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah, was, yeah, it, yeah. it was a very, very good painting from that okay. set. All right. So we have seen. Sorry. I'm going to use this joke. We have seen Dave's Man Thing. Um, <laughs> sorry, Dave. Sorry. Um, Medusa. Nice. I'm looking forward to seeing that's what good. he does with the hair. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be cool. That's gonna oh, be yeah. Uh, Miles, we've seen. Modoc, we've seen. Moon Knight. Oh, my goody art. I'm looking forward uh-huh. to that. Um, I never understand why Multiple Man gets so much of a look in. I mean, maybe that's his thing. Multiple Man. Multiple artists yeah. like drawing him. But, yeah, maybe, yeah. Um, Mysterio, we've seen Namor. Eh, not a Namor fan. Sorry. Um, Nova. Oh, Nova. Well, um, DeForest K. Torres will be very happy. Uh-huh. He's a Nova collector. Um, Omega Red. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Um Jonathan Omega Hunter um, is 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 a Mega Red fan. Um, not sure if he's still in the card game. I think he might have thrown I in the think towel. He, yeah, I think I think he left. But yeah. Omega Red was in Unbound, so he seems to be coming back around again. Yeah, yeah. Um, Professor X we've seen. Psylocke, which is a little gr- gr- growl under my tongue. Uh, Quicksilver, Red Skull, I'm really looking forward to seeing. Mm-hmm. I love seeing what people do with Red Skull. Rocket, we've seen Rogue, could be cool. Sabretooth, Scarlet Witch, Shatterstar. Hello. That's interesting. Hello. Yeah. Um, so another Dave, Dave Deep Cuts. Um, Dan Deep Cuts. Dan. Oh, <laughs> it did it already. I can't believe I <laughs> fucked that already. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, you know, I had this when I was at school. So my older brother is called David. So uh-huh. when I went to school, the teachers had taught my brother. So every time a teacher went to say something to me, they went, oh. De- Ian. Yeah. Yep. Um, She-Hulk. Looking forward to that one. Shuri. Spider-Gwen. Interesting that it's got back to being called Spider-Gwen because for a little uh-huh. bit, it was Ghost Spider. Ghost everywhere. Spider, yeah. Um, so I, it should be Spider-Gwen. Um, Spider-Man, Squirrel Girl, Star-Lord, Storm, Taskmaster, Thanos. I'm looking forward to Thanos. Enormously, um, Thor. We've seen at least one. No, we saw him on the holofoil, didn't we? Where he was sat down. Yes, he was the holofoil. Yep. Yeah, he was chilling. Yep, yep. yep. Um, but he's also on the canvas or the gallery, if this is to be believed, um, because he's up here in this this top of the third column. Mm-hmm. I think we've concluded is so base and then canvas. Yeah. And... yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, that's weird. Don't know. Um, Uatu, of course, the Watcher. The Watcher. Oh, that's going to be cool. I love that. Um, Ultron, Venom, Vision, War Machine, Wasp. We've seen uh, Winter Soldier, Wolverine. But everyone's dying for that. And X twenty three. So Jake will be very happy with that. As will Keith Speroni. Um, and then the, the list starts, well, it doesn't go alphabetical on this bit, but it, it clearly moves. I, I haven't counted those, but let's assume we might have just done 90. Then we go Cloak, Dagger, Iceman, Archangel, Gambit. A few people will be happy with Gambit. Being back yeah, here. for sure. Long shot. That's interesting. We haven't had long shot for a while. Mojo and Dazzler. Thank you. Oh, I'm excited to see <laughs> Dan's Dazzler. Dan's Dazzler. There we go. Um, then we got there. And then what we fought with the canvas with Black Widow, Cap, Colossus. Colossus. Okay, yeah. Metal characters. I'd be interested to see what... what... Oh, yeah. Dan's was... metal. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me go back. What's There's wrong? no Iron Man in, in what we assume is the base set list. Interesting. There is an Iron Man at there the bottom. There is an Iron Man on the bottom yeah. right, uh, a third column. Weird. But I think I think that's going to be Holofoil. I, I wonder if it's just well, but we saw Thor Holofoil. Is Thor on that list? Don't know. I think no. I think he's f-ing with us. Um, <laughs> possibly. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, listen. This is like this is like seeing part of the puzzle and trying to guess what the pitch is going to look right, like. So, you know. Right. Um, <laughs> 
But who else we see? Let's have a look at some of these battle spectrum matchups. Um, I mean, I guess the big one here is is there's no individual Fantastic Four characters listed, but they are here. Yeah, as a battle as spectrum. A, yeah, so I think that unit. might have come in quite late, maybe. I think during his window to paint. I think Dan mentioned uh, on that interview with Justin on Spidey uh-huh, Hits uh-huh. that he didn't get Fantastic Four clearance until like the wow. end. Okay, this and he just that. like tried to make it work. Okay, all right. Fantastic Four versus Doctor Doom. So that's cool. Be a, that's, it's been that's, it's been a while be since we've seen any yeah. Fantastic Four in a masterpieces set. That's going to be very cool. And we haven't seen Doom since uh, 2016. We also mm. haven't seen Silver Surfer, who's on this list, both is versus Galactus and on his own. Mm-hmm. Um, Iron Man versus Hulk is an interesting battle choice. Um, yeah, that, that is cool. interesting. Well, I'm wondering if Iron Man will be in his um, uh, Hulk Hulkbuster. Buster. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Professor X versus Magneto. That's cool. Um, Spidey versus Green Goblin. We we know that Miles saw... versus Green Goblin is in, in the... Oh, actually, interesting. But I, that's, I, I think... That must be Miles versus Green Goblin, that one. Because we know the image is Miles versus Green Goblin. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. This I'm is... wondering how much they use Miles and Spider-Man interchangeably in, in yeah, this set. And names, yeah. Well, don't forget this 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 list, this checklist, isn't from Upper Deck. It's Dan. Right, it's from Dan. Sure. It's no, well, it's not even a checklist. Yeah, it's a list of paintings. Right, it's a, even right. though it says checklist right at the top. Um, wow. Okay. Um, Vision Vision versus Ultron. Here's here's a deep cut. Weapon X versus the program. Yeah, that's a trip. <laughs> uh rogue I, versus mystique as well wow I, I like that he got some some pretty you know the same as dave did he got some yeah. freedom to do some like hey yeah. what do you want to do that's really weird and then he just yeah hit it yeah um so on that note i just want to scroll down to what i assume is the holofoil section i don't know for sure and and highlight phantom x is being on the list. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, Carnage makes it into that section as well. There's another Colossus. Um, Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Jane Foster is also listed. Um, so I imagine that'll I'm be curious. in the Thor get up. Yeah. Uh, interesting that it's listed as Jane Foster. Because um, she's often referred to as the mighty Thor. Right. Um, Kang. Of course, he's everywhere these days. Kingpin, Loki, Magneto, Morbius, Morbin time. Mystic, Nick Fury, that should be good. Sauron. That's uh, cool. Another one, yeah. Love, love I, me uh, some dinosaur stuff. Yeah. I, uh, mm, no, yeah. not a dinosaur guy? No, Come no. on. Well, I, like, you know, I love dinosaurs as much as the next guy. I often wonder, though. It's I, I, I get, I, I'm sure it's an enjoyable one for artists to do. Mm. I, I'm just not sure how many masterpieces sets I need Sauron in. <laughs> <laughs> as a collector that's fair um, that's fair shadow king um don't know much about shadow king I'll be, I, I won't lie to you um and he tiger in a, shadow king was in a battle spectra that dave did i think but i don't know much about him either yeah i don't i don't i still need to i think i'm two base cards away from tier one to three on dave's set and I think I've got about half of the Hall of Fours and about half the Battle Spectra. Oh, okay. I kind of really need to get my thumb out my ass and finish that set. Don't <laughs> I? There's no excuse at this point. I mean, you know, we are three years post-release. I think I've had, I think I've had Dave on the podcast more times than I've had opportunities to actually buy his cards. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, um, this is cool. I'm 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 suitably excited. I um, can't wait to see how these yeah. actually like fall and yeah. you know yeah. Um, now I'm, I tried and it wasn't cleared in time to get us the box art for today, but I couldn't. Um, however, it may, it may appear, um, in my inbox in due course. Ooh. So, uh, fingers crossed. That um, would be I, fun. I have sought approval, uh, simply because I know Black Cat is supposed to be on it. That would be exciting. Um, cause I know that that was mentioned on Justin's show as well yeah. um and also i believe she might be on the wrapper that would be very cool which is very cool for my that point would be very of view. cool you know, I'm very well, i think for anybody's point of view we've seen we've seen dan's black cat now it's, oh, yeah, uh, yeah yeah 
so um so i'm i'm excited so on a scale of one to excited donny 11 okay good good um what are you going to go for what's what's going to be your goal do you want to say what your goal is going to be i Keep it under your lid I can because it's it's generic because I don't know yet. So the way okay. I did it's the way I do I do all the sets. Right. Um, so like masterpieces 2020, I looked at all the artwork and I liked the Mysterio painting best. I thought it was a phenomenal painting, mm -hmm. and you know I I knew how you know the the set was gonna fall. He was tier three because tier four is really really tough. Um, that first day, like when you guys opened your box and then everybody was cracking their stuff online, mm -hmm. so I was like I'm gonna decide today what I want to do. Because I'd never really done it before. Um, and then now for each set after that, I pick a character, and it's not it's never the same character. Um, and I I pick the artwork that I like the most, and it it yeah. lets me you know I learn more about a character, and it's usually I I don't go for you know one of the more popular ones like Fleer Ultra Avengers. I'm I'm chasing Spectrum, um, because she's an interesting character, and she's probably not going to show up a ton. So mm. uh, I'll wait to see all of the stuff. Um, and then I'll I'll pick a character and go all the way down the rabbit hole. Mm. And and see what I can what I can make of it. Yeah, she would have been cool in this set. I didn't see her on the list. There, so. There's a lot of interesting characters on that list, so it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be neat to see how they fall and mm. like where, you know, obviously a what what all of the artwork looks like, and then yeah. where they fall tier wise or collectability with all the different parallels, because um, it's gonna be a little bit of a different collecting experience, I think, than than 2020 was, which was great. Yeah. But yeah, I will. Uh, I'll I'll pick a character, and you said you were gonna you're gonna put together a small black cat rainbow, even still, right? Yeah, I mean I'll try my best. Um, I, my um, I mean I've talked about it before, but you know the state of the economy and that, and the UK inflation is is kind of three times that of America and most sure. of Europe at the moment, so it is pretty tough. Um, at the moment, just kind of budgeting for things. I mm -hmm. will try for as much of a black cat rainbow as I can. Um. And then over the passage of time, I'll do tier one to three base. Sure. I'll do tier four purple, if that is indeed still in yep. the mix as purple. Um, I'll probably do that too. That's what I did for 2020, and yeah. it was just better. Yeah. I'll do regular canvas, regular hollow foil, regular battle mm -hmm. spectra. Yeah. And that will be my set. Yeah. Um, and I'll, I'll probably. Happy. I'll probably do a, a base set too. I don't know if it'll be the base, what if, or gold signature. I did them all for 2020. I don't, I don't know that I'll do that again, mm -hmm. um, unless for some reason I can like noodle my way through trades on EPAC whenever it comes out there. Cause that's kind of how I did it here yeah. was just to yeah. put bits and pieces together with yeah. redeem stuff and yeah, yeah, whatnot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can, I mean, the thing is with this, there'll be a, there'll be a strategy to it. I would suggest for anyone who's not done it, based on my past experience of three sets now is don't underestimate how difficult it will be to put together a tier three set, especially in what if do that sooner rather than later, and, I would suggest. And it's not one that you can necessarily wait for EPAC for because it gets really, really hard. It's obviously not tier four, but, um, with the tier three achievements, it was, the they, yeah. they were, they were tough. Now, obviously if you want to, if you're okay with waiting for a long time, they mm. will eventually. Dip, yeah. But a couple of years. It's yeah, uh, depending on character. But, it, but yeah, it took, it took a while for the, yeah. those to come down. Yeah. Um, I would suggest, uh, what else would I suggest um, for tips for people? This is actually quite cool, actually, for those who haven't done a masterpiece set before, uh, what to expect. Um, I would, if you want a base set, I'd hold for tiers one and two. Just, just, just wait. Unless you really want to complete it straight away, um, because I think there's going to be there's going to be more boxes this time around, which may there's be why the sketches. Yeah, there's more parallels. There should there's be. There's more parallels, but yeah. that means that there'll be fewer base cards in one box. In theory. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, because if they're numbered like, still. Right, say and say for like Fleer Ultra, mm. you got base cards, but some of them were greens. So if you're particular yep. about what you're doing and yep. assuming that maybe greens are the same yep. here, then you're gonna get some base and you're gonna get some green, yep. and that's not it's gonna be harder to put it's two yep. two separate sets. Yeah. Holding one spot. And the gold force signature, if this set follows past form, uh won't be numbered. Right. So um however I mean, no one's done the math on this set yet because you know, we simply don't yeah. know what the full 
um, proper checklist will look like. But previous sets, it's been estimated that tier four gold signature will be approximately the same number of cards as the what if, which are numbered to 50. 50. So, yes. um, so just bear that in mind. If you, if you're going for tier four stuff, um, the gold sig, if it's not numbered this time, we don't know for sure if it will or won't be. That's just right. it isn't because it hasn't been. Um, that's going to be a, a, a tough one. Um, and if you see something, I'm just going to say on this one, you know, th th this could be quite an expensive product. I likely, think this is going to be, will be, yeah, this is yeah. going to be up there. Upper Deck know that there's demand for it, as evidenced by the vast amount of content on it in the last two weeks. Uh, not, notwithstanding this podcast, we'd be talking about it anyway. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> uh, just not in a rush. Um, I think it will be, it it will be difficult for collectors who have been even used to budgeting for the twenty twenty level of price. I think it's going to be a challenge for people. Um, I think if you see people selling stuff early, they're going to be aiming to recoup the cost sure. of their boxes. So anything that you think can wait, hold on it. The exception would be the metallurgy, some characters, silver spectrum auto, and the plates. Yep. Any anything that's super low number. They're and... going to be up there. Yeah, they're going to the... be up there. Some somebody told me once, and this pertains more to to paintings and and one of one things, um, but I share it with people just because when they told me a little light bulb went off in my head. But you can always sell something, but you might not be able to buy it later. Yes. So if you see something like a plate or a a one of one or a really really good sketch, chances are you can sell it. That doesn't mean you're going to make money or you'll get your money back, but you can always sell it later. But you may not ever be able to buy it again. Yes. once somebody purchases it so yeah yeah bear that in mind yeah exactly i mean there's still stuff from 2020 i've never seen on the market at all i mean i didn't even sure. see it get pulled on eBay, well, you know? e even one of dave's the the one painting redemption the spider-man canvas never it never turned up oh wow was it wolverine the other one wolverine wolverine showed up on yeah. back uh and was traded and sold and it's um i know where that's at but the the other painting it's either still in a box somewhere or somebody opened it quietly and redeemed it and it's hanging on Could a wall. Could well be. Could well be. That yeah, there's a some of the guys who really go in for the original art do keep that quite quiet. Um or someone might pull the redemption card and been offered a decent amount. Because again, sure. Some of the guys who buy that art have got very deep pockets. They have it to. Is. Yeah. You know, I mean so, the, so. the the Wolverine redemption card sold for a fair amount of money. Was it five figures? Uh just under i think yeah i remember it being around 10k it I was i think it was yeah. like nine something nine yeah. something with that uh yeah. but i don't i there might have been other pieces to the trade yeah, with course. that outside of actual of dollars but yeah, yeah. yeah yeah wow okay um i mean my advice as always with this is 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 have fun don't overspend uh fomo on this set will be probably the most it's and justifiably the most in some cases yeah um i don't know i mean what advice would would you give donny having been through it once before i mean e -pack side? yeah and, and 2020 i was new so like i hadn't done marvel collecting i've been you know in magic but that's a different kind of collecting mm. at least the way the way i interact with it um I mean, one is obviously you have to, you got to know your budget. The the thing I mentioned about, you can always sell it later, um, but you might not be able to buy it again. Only go so far um, and, and pick your, pick your lane of what you want to do. Like I, even for these other sets that aren't as hyped up as masterpieces, I pick my character and, and I rainbow them out and that helps keep it focused to where it's an enjoyable hunt, but it's not like frantic spending and unlimited budgets and like, weirdness and you feel bad for not being able to buy something so mm -hmm. you know find the thing that you super love and and do that uh and there's ways like with mysterio sketches i can keep collecting mysterio from 2020 for basically ever even though i've essentially finished it it's never done because there's always there's always other options mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. find the thing that you really like and just stick to that mm -hmm. and that's that's perfectly fine because there will be fomo and there's going to be a lot of posts on the group and on ebay of people Not that sure. are unloading stuff. And this is going to be a big set. Mm. Like with all those parallels, 
and and number it's going to be a, a large it will yeah. be imp impossible 2020 was impossible basically to like make a full master set this yeah. will be impossible oh yeah absolutely i'm, I'm just going to a word of caution for people there are there was with 2020 a number of occasions unfortunately of people who knew that some people were new to masterpieces and might not know what they'd pulled mm -hmm. and tried to pull some pretty dodgy trades yeah. um so at that time i remember on the group uh, spotted this happening because i think it happened to pat king actually someone tried to pull one on him and some, somebody tried to, somebody tried to get me too yeah fortunately um it got pulled so what we did we set up a bit of a some from some of the more experienced folks we set up a little bit of a trade kind of um squad you know, if you've got someone trading with you and you're not sure and you want a second opinion you can yep. PM any of these folks and they'll be yep. up for it. So yeah. And, and um, likewise for me, if anybody has questions about mm, stuff like that, I'm, I'm more than, yeah. more than happy to help you with it. Yeah. Um, I mean, ultimately what I would say is um, if anyone's after something that's numbered 99 or 25, and they're trying to convince you that something that's unnumbered is going to be easily as good, then take a beat, you know, yeah, sleep like, on it. Don't get anyone rush you. Right. That, then that's just it. If anybody's trying to rush you on a trade, then chances are it's probably not in your, yeah. your best interest. Yeah. Or adding more and more stuff and typing more and more stuff and trying yeah. to convince you. you know, I've, I've seen it happen. And yeah, no, I some, have too. Some people get walked and talked for a trade and just bombarded with stuff until they say, okay, that's fine. Let's just do it. And then right. they realize, okay, what just happened? Yeah. There, I mean, there's, <laughs> so, there's, there's a lot of really good folks. Yeah. There are a lot in, of good folks. I'm in, just, in the, it's just in the, the trading the, community. That, yeah. that, there's a 1% of people um and, and that doesn't that doesn't mean to say that like i've i've over traded for some things that i really need because oh, of course you know. especially when it gets mm -hmm. to like you said with those one of ones and plates mm -hmm. and stuff like that well mm -hmm. if you if you want it you're kind of going to have to play by somebody else's rules you just mm -hmm. hope that 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 person mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. can work with it but you know there's yeah there's some stuff for 2020 that i traded for that in retrospect are like that was dumb but yeah. otherwise it is what it is yeah you, know, you have to make that decision yeah yeah um and Remember, it's cards, not a kidney. Right, right. It's just cards. Just cards. It's just cards. It's just cards, not kidneys. Um, have, I, have, have I ever told you the origin of that that kidney thing? No, I, I, I don't might have said so. it on the podcast before. I always okay. love telling the story. There's a box office manager who used to work in a West End theatre. Who he used to talk like this, you see. I, and she, she, she was once over her town to a customer. I don't know why you're shouting at me, sir. It's a ticket. <laughs> it's not a kidney. And I always, always remember that. Yep. That's a, it's so, cards, not a kidney. It's cards, not a kidney. Um, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wrap us up. Um, okay. I, I don't know. What else to say about this set apart from Dan? Come and speak to us soon. Uh, Donny, um, enjoy your trip to Barcelona. And, Thank you. Um, um, please let the playing be okay. Uh, and wow, that was dark. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to go there. <laughs> um, and where can, if people want to dig some of the magic stuff that you've got going on, uh, I always like people to be able to pimp what's going on with their stuff. Where sure. can people find you on the interwebs? You can find uh, my articles on hipstersofthecoast.com. Um, there's usually at least something I've written on the homepage, and if you click on my name, it will give you everything. Uh, Marvel articles come out generally on the last Wednesday of every month, uh, whatever the, the fourth week of that, that month is. Um, you can find me selling stuff on the MTG Art Market or on the Artist Proof Discord. Um, and then on here sometimes with ian talking yeah. about marvel cards and you're on the instagram and the twitter as well i am yep it's just my name uh with capital d and capital c marvelous uh, all right yep. well we'll link to it we'll link to it um, perfect donny i'm gonna ask you even though i didn't prompt you for this i'm sure you remember it i, know. I remember it i know the thing you know exactly what to tell people to do until next time folks until next time enjoy collecting <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Marvel Card Collectors Podcast. Tasting notes and visuals for each episode can be found on our Facebook page. We're on most social media at the MCC Pod, and you can also watch the video of each episode recording on our YouTube channel. Leave us a voicemail via our home on anchor.fm forward slash MCCP. We're also on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. Please take a second to subscribe, like, and review our show wherever you find us. 
Our Facebook community is at MCCW Marvel Car Collectors Worldwide and MMC Marvel Masterpieces Collectors. The great music we use on our audio version is called Rocket Power by Kevin McLeod. Thanks to the collectors, artists and creators who support the Marvel Cards Fan Collective. We'll see you next time and remember, it's a small hobby but a fun one. Make mine Marvel and enjoy collecting.